day. This is Dr. Baumstark again, and uh, we're, today we're going to talk about hexadecimal numbers. Now, this is actually part of the slide deck with hexadecimal numbers and character encodings. I'm going to try to postpone the character encodings to, uh, to another video just to keep from making things so long. So, just hexadecimal numbers here. All right, um, once again, let's review how we think about decimal numbers. So decimal, D-E-C, um, prefix means 10. So decimal numbers are uh, the numbers made up of the numerals 0 through 9. So we have 10 numerals, and we can make our combinations of those to make up our numbers. So uh, again, for example, 54216, 6 times 10 to the first, 1 times, sorry, 6 times 10 to the 0, 1 times 10 to the 1st, plus 2 times two, uh, 10 to the 2nd, plus 4 times 10 to the 3rd, plus 5 times 10 to the 4th. In other words, 5 times 10,000, 4 times 1,000, 2 times 100, 1 times 10, 6 times 1. We add all that together, we get 54216, or 54,216. Again, you've done this before, you, you, you know how this works from, uh, from math way back. Um, we do the same thing with binary numbers, except now we're, we're only looking at powers of 2 because we only have the numerals 0 and 1. So I have my example, 1011, 0011. List of them out with their corresponding power of 2. 1 times 2 to the 0, 1 times 2 to the 1st, 0 times 2 to the 2, 0 times 2 to the 3, 1 times 2 to the 4, 1 times 2 to the 5, 0 times 2 to the 6, 1 times 2 to the 7. We multiply and, and all that stuff out and add, and add the, the products together, we get 179. Uh, again, we talked about this in an earlier lecture uh, about how do we think about uh, binary uh, numbers, at least as unsigned integers, um, and how do we convert those back to decimal. So again, just as a review, a decimal number it's a number constructed from the 10 numerals 0 through 9. Um, this is the base 10 number system. Binary number, again unsigned, is a number constructed from the two numerals 0 and 1. And we call this the base 2 number system. Hexadecimal numbers, hex meaning 6, DEC meaning 10, is a number system constructed from 16 numerals. Um, I know it sounds kind of arbitrary, but we'll see in a minute why 16 uh, works out nicely. And those numerals are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we also need numerals to correspond to the decimal numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And we represent those by A, B, C, D, E, and F. You have probably seen hexadecimal numbers before, and you might have been wondering why they have these letters in them. Again, these are stand-ins for uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, um, but can't do them as dual numbers. We have to do them as, as, as a single symbol. Um, most things also allow lowercase a, b, c, d, e, and f. Uh, we can use them interchangeably. All I ask is that you be consistent in your programs. Uh, so this is the base 16 number system. Hex for 6, decimal for 10, as I said before. Um, we call them hex numbers for short. And some examples here, um, 1EE7D00D or 5A. Um, as the sidebar says, it's common these days to preface a hexadecimal number with 0x to indicate that it is hexadecimal. Um, our book use, is, is an older book. Um, it was actually written in the 80s, but it uh, works pretty nicely for what we're going to do. Um, and it use, uses an older terminology where you prefix hexadecimal numbers by dollar sign. Uh, we're going to use both of these interchangeably. Um, probably more of the zero X in the earlier part of the semester, probably more dollar sign later semester when we're um, actually looking at uh, assembly written uh, in, uh, for the, the 6502 processor. All right, how do we reason about unsigned hex numbers? Exactly the way we do about decimal and binary numbers, except now we're dealing in powers of 16. So 
With decimal numbers, the base 10 system, we were dealing in powers of 10. With binary, the base 2 system, we were dealing in powers of 2. Hexadecimal, the base 16 system, we're dealing in powers of 16. Um, so here I have a number, uh, and again, this is an unsigned uh, integer, D47B0F. F times 16 to the zeroth power, 0 times 16 to the first power, B times 16 to the second power, 7 times 16 to the third power, 4 times 16 to the fourth power, D times 16 to the fifth power. That's what I have written out here. In binary terms, we change that D to a 13 times the, the fifth power of 16, 4 times the fourth power of 16, which is that, um, 7 times the third power of 16, which is that. Um, B is 11 in decimal. So 11 times uh, 16 to the second power there. That's 256. Uh, we have a 0 at the first power, which would be 0 times 16. Then we have f times 16 to the 0th power, which is 15 times f is 15, and the 0th power is 1. Add all that stuff together, and this is the unsigned uh, decimal equivalent of that hexadecimal number. Now, let's see what comes up next. Um, just as a, a side, we can make uh, number systems using any base number. Um, it was common in the early days of computing, and, and by early, this is really predates me even, um, to talk about octal numbers. So they were base 8, numbers made from the numbers 0 through 7. Um, and you'll still see uh, vestiges of that in, in documentation here and there, but to my knowledge, nobody uses that in any uh, meaningful way anymore. Now, not really a, an exercise for you, but just a mental um, question for you. Which of these two things is easier to read? And which one is easier to remember? Is it this long binary string? Or is it this shorter hexadecimal string? Well, obviously it's the shorter hexadecimal string. String it is fewer symbols to remember. It's more compact and so forth. So that would hopefully be easier to remember. Uh, I look at the binary and my eyes cross. Um, the hex is still not great, but it's way better than this. And this brings us to the uh, kind of the main reason we use hexadecimal things. We actually don't tend to think of hexadecimal integers or whatever else. Um, you know, we don't do a whole lot of conversion back and back and forth from from hex to decimal and, and vice versa. What we use hex for is a shorthand for binary. If we take a binary string, uh, and I believe this is the same one, yeah, same one from the previous page, and we break it up by fours, starting from the right. We got to be careful. Got to start from the right. Break it up by groups of four bits. And, I, and you see, I've done that here with spaces. Each of those groups of four bits corresponds to a specific hex digit. So all zeros is zero, all ones is F, uh, 1100 is C, 0111 is 7, 1011 is B. Uh, how the course my better here. Uh, one, uh, 0110 is 6, 1010 is A, and 1000 is 8. Again, in, for applications where we need to view binary data, it's typically easier to do so by um, converting it to hex using this shorthand. Now, you can run the numbers, convert bi this binary string to a decimal number, convert this hexadecimal string to a decimal number, and you will get the same result in both cases. It just so happens that it works out very nicely that every hex digit corresponds to a specific 4-bit pattern in binary. And here's the conversion chart. Um, numbered 0 through F, and as you see, each pattern increases the previous one by one. 
So 0, 0, 0, 0, add 1, get 0, 0, 0, 1, add 1, get 0, 0, 1, 0, add 0, 1, get 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so forth, all the way to F, which gets us four ones. Um, and you should be able to memorize this table or, or to recreate it. Um, and it's easy because all we do is we just keep adding one for um, starting at zero to, to get this entire table. But once you know this conversion chart, you can take any hexadecimal uh, value and convert it to binary, or you can take any binary value and convert it back to hexadecimal very easily. So again, another example, <clears throat> 3C1E. 3C1E. If we go to the chart on the previous page, E is 1110, 1 is 001, C is 1100, 3 is 0011. The binary equivalent would just be all that stuff together right here. Now, converting binary back to hex is the opposite um, process with one uh, little caveat. So, Step one, from right to left, group your bits into groups of four, padding the leftmost group to four bits. In other words, if you have a binary value whose number of bits is not cleanly divisible by four, you want to make sure you're grouping them from the right to left, not the opposite. If you group them from left to right, you could get the wrong answer. So always start on the right and start grouping off. And you may find that you have um, you know, one, two, or three bits left over on the left. If so, add enough zeros to uh, to pad out to four bits. Once you've done that, replace each group of bits with its hexadecimal equivalent. So this particular one, uh, binary string is cleanly divisible by four. So uh, the 1110 goes to E, the 001 goes to 1, the 1001 goes to 9, 0012 goes to 2, and the 1011 goes to B. So our hex equivalent is B291E. But here's one of those cautionary situations. So we have 1011, 0100, 1000, 1111, and we have an extra zero. If we convert this based on a right to left grouping, we get hex 1291E. That's correct. If we started grouping from the, the left to the right, we get 948F0, which is not correct. Um, hopefully it's been, you, you get this already, but um, understand that two hex digits, where each hex digit is four bits, um, two of those together equals one byte. So it's very common to see situations like 0x00, zero zero zero, C7, FF, 1F, each grouping of two hex digits is equivalent to a single byte of information. Um, just to kind of reinforce the point about uh, hex data as um, something we uh, use to, to make binary strings easier to view. Um, we can view any file as a text data with uh, the right uh, program. I think this is probably uh, hex edit in, uh, in Linux. Um, and, you know, it groups things into bytes, uh, actually groups, groups things into uh, groups of four bytes to kind of organize things better. Um, and it shows their offsets from the beginning of the file. Um, this is ugly, but it would be, you know, four times uglier if this was uh, displayed in binary. Um, last couple words for the day. Um, Java, uh, which hopefully all of y'all are, are familiar with now, um, can represent uh, hexadecimal and binary uh, literal values. So you can write that directly in your code without converting to, to decimal first. So um, it recognizes the, Z, the 0x prefix. So if you have an int, um, declared as some number, um, you can set it equal to something like 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D. Um, note those are interpreted as ints, which in Java are signed integers. Um, you can also put in 
binary literals using the 0b prefix. So here, we've got another number. It's 0b, 1101, 0011, um, and then Java knows to convert that internally to a, um, a decimal value uh, based on that. Again, these are integers, and um, for our ints in Java, and ints in Java are signed values. Uh, one last word, uh, CBM PRG Studio is the um, development environment we're going to be using later in the semester uh, when we start writing some assembly. Um, it also um, can represent hexadecimal and binary literals. Um, it is based on some of that older um, ideas about uh, how to represent hex. So it uses the dollar sign um, to represent hexadecimal values. Um, you can also represent binary values using the percent sign to do uh, literals. Um, and that's it for now. Um, if you uh, have questions, feel free to, to ask either uh, by email or, or when I see you in class. Um, so take care and, and we'll see you soon.